Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to make honey teriyaki chicken. So as per the recipe, um, it's a slow cooker recipe, but I also mentioned you can do this in the pan as well. So I'm going to first of all start off by using some coconut oil. Maybe roughly about a teaspoon of this, okay, so not too much of it. I'm going to start by heating this up in the pan. And as you can see, I've already got two chicken breasts, which I've already diced. Um, so from here, what I'm going to do is add to my honey. So it says a quarter of a cup. I'm just going to literally get that in there. So I'm using honey because it is a teriyaki recipe. If anyone's familiar with that Japanese recipe, so it'd be nice and sweet. Add a bit of season to it. Um, rice, wine, vinegar, the same for this as well. So a quarter of a cup. So I'm just going to bash that in there ground ginger. So we're looking for about maybe three to four teaspoons of that, okay? So what you can do with this is leave it overnight, okay? So you could leave it maybe for um, six, seven hours um, overnight so that it's soaking, uh, marinade, and you get a much stronger, better flavour the following day. So I'm just going to go for three teaspoons of this because it is fairly strong with no ginger. If anyone's eaten raw ginger before, then you're not going to forget it. So this has gone in soy sauce as well. So I'm going to bang in a quarter of a cup full of that too. So you can be uh, very approximate with the measurements. I'm just going to bash it in. What I'm going to also add to this whilst I'm just doing this is some corn flour too, just to thicken up um, the texture and allow everything to kind of emulsify and stick together. So I'm going to go for about two tablespoons of corn flour, okay? should be more than enough. So two tablespoons. So I've got a teaspoon here, so I'm looking for about maybe four approximate. And then from that, I'm also going to season with a bit of black pepper. So as I said before in the video, you know, it's up to you entirely how much you want to put in there. So it's best to start off with a little and then taste as you go along. So think about also like how much you want to make for the week um, you could maybe double this and then you could have enough for four days and um, take that to work. So most of the time, you know, we are spending quite a bit of money um, nipping to the shop, getting maybe a pre-prepared sandwich or um, a pasta salad, which on the surface looks pretty healthy, but to be honest, probably is the worst thing that you, you could pick. Full of saturated fat, full of preservatives, you know, you don't know how long that thing's been on the shelf for. Here we have um, honey sticky teriyaki chicken. Um, obviously you can serve this with a side salad, a little bit of um, extra greens, so um, maybe some spinach, maybe some pak choy, spring onions. It'd be nice to put some toasted sesame seeds on the top and maybe some cashew nuts as well. Um, so here we've got one idea of um, preparing your chickens and basically making your own sauce, your own seasoning and frying using coconut oil.